How's it going everybody, Ben from Much Pokemon here, and in this video I have my big CGC submission here. It's literally a really, really huge parcel, like, in this Intex envelope. Um, without further ado, let's cut these open, though, because I cannot wait to see the grades on, on these cards. And... I was actually expecting this to take a bit longer, to be honest. I was I was expecting these to or to expect these to not see these back like before before the end of August. Hang on, let me just or the end of um, October. Let me just cut this open as well. There we go. No need to rip. I guess I need that for the parcel itself. Man, oh man, my biggest my biggest submission that I have ever done with CGC. Thirty cards in here. I did post on Twitter the 25 cards that I was sending in, but then I thought to myself, um, I might add a few more, and then I added like five more full art trainers. So we'll see what we get in this. We'll see. This is actually pretty cool. I might use this as a storage box. Okay, so let's see. Holy moly, right. Okay, so this is this is the way the labels are on the back. So I guess guess we'll, we'll put him right here. This is kind of in the way. Hmm, there's no other way to do this though. I guess I could do it like this. Yeah, let's do it like this. Um, I also have this right here, like a little thing that I just put together so we can put it over the slabs and see what we have. Um, for these ones I can't though, because this is a golden back label, so this means this is a pristine 10. There's there's no point of me hiding it. I know it's a pristine 10 because of that golden logo. Um, so let's just flip it around. Yo, Brock's Grit in a pristine 10. Okay. Yeah, this is this is one of the cards that I added after the fact. So this was not on the on the Twitter post. So this is really cool. I guess I'll grab them randomly. Because I still kind of know the the um order. So here we go. This is a silver one. So we don't know what this is. Let me just put this over here. Okay, so this is the Zara Aura V Star. I mean, these are from from V Star Universe. I basically just added these to fill in the bulk for the most part. So let's just do it quick and painless. It's a pr it's a gem in ten at least for the Zara Aura. Okay, so this actually didn't take that long. Like it took it took or it went quicker than I expected for this actually. Because um, I sent these in, or I submitted the, the submission on um, August 19th, and then they received them in, in Germany on the 23rd. Nice, the Pikachu. This is the pre-order promo from Scarlet and Violet in Japan. Um, and it was a silver back, so let's see. Oh, that's only a 9? Seriously? Okay. There must be something wrong that I did not see at all with this card then, huh? If that's only a 9, okay. Well, this might still be good for a future giveaway then. You know, whenever I hit 500 subscribers maybe, that would be that would be perfect for, for a giveaway, I guess. Okay, let's just grab this one. Another silver one. Okay, now I'm getting kind of concerned. A lot of silver cards. Let me just flip this around. Okay, so it's the Altaria, the Altaria from Incandescent Arcana. I also added this one in because I thought it was, it was actually perfect, I thought. I thought it was going to get the pristine 10. We only, only got him into Gem Mint 10. It's still a Gem Mint 10, so that is very, very nice. Very, very cool. This card has gotten insanely expensive with the whole, like, female full art trainer hype, and I guess this also covers it because mm, there's, a, there's a freaking girl on the Pokemon card, that's why it's expensive. Yikes. Any hoosers, it's still a nice card, don't get me wrong, I still like the card. Uh, mainly because of the Altaria, you know, Gen 3 Pokemon. Okay, another silver back. So let's see what we have here. Oh, it's the Cynthia. Okay, Cynthia's Ambition, I think, from V-Star Universe. One of the full art trainers that I submitted. A lot of full art trainers in here, I'm just telling you that immediately off the bat. Okay, the Cynthia. Let's see what the Cynthia is. Yo, it's a 10 though, that's nice. That is really nice, that in a 10. And this card is stunning, man, okay. That's cool. I mean, at least it's a 10, you know, the pristine 10, of course, that would be, that would be so cool. 
but at least it's a gem in 10. Okay, let me just pull out, I think, I'm gonna pull out the, the first card, I think, and this is the, the extreme special one. Okay, um, this is the first card that I added, and I already can tell it's a gold label, so it's a pristine 10. If they kept the order of the cards in my submission, then I know that this is the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX from Alter Genesis. And it is, holy moly, a pristine 10. And this is probably one of the most important cards in here, honestly. This was, this was incredibly important to me. Holy moly, I actually own this card in English in a PSA 8. Um, ended up selling it though. Um, I did kind of regret that I sold it, but then I always wanted the Japanese version because the texture of the Japanese version, see, yeah, do you see that on the camera? Like the god rays are actually like specific, specific patterns. Holy moly, this card looks so much better in Japanese and it is a pristine 10, the highest grade there is with CGC now. Jesus Christ, okay, this was one of the most most important ones to get in a 10. Um, there are a few more in here. Let's just grab some randomly, like this one, another silver label. And let's just flip this around. What is this? Oh, it's the Melanie. The Melanie from V-Star Universe. I actually pulled this out of the um, Mew V-Star Universe box, like the box with the with the giant card. I'll put a link up here in the... I'll put a link up here in the info card, so go check that out if you want to. But here we are, it is a 10 at least. Hey, I can't be too mad about a 10. Of course I would love a pristine 10, but at least it's a 10. Um, that 9 though, ooh, you know, it could be worse, it could be a 9. So a 10 is, is completely cool with me. Um, let me grab this one. So here we have another silver label. Let me just put this above here. And then turn it around. Okay, it's the Juck from... Is this from Scar... This is from um, Scarlet. Scarlet EX, not from Violet EX. Let's see what the Juck is. Also a 10. Okay, I would love a few more pristine 10 trainers if I'm honest, but then again, um, most of my, my graded trainers are actually CGC Gemmin 10s and not pristine 10s. Um, I th the only... No, I don't even have a pristine 10, I only have the perfect 10 for the friends in Gala. So this is still very, very cool. Very nice. Lots of 10s. Um, no 9.5 it. I wonder if we do get a 9.5. Let me just put these over here. We can see them a bit better. Cover Nessa's face here. And which one do we grab? I see another, I see another pristine 10. Um, I don't know which one this is. Um, this might be the Arwen. Let's see. It is the Arwen. The Arwen, um, Super Art Rare, or the SAR. A pristine 10. Okay. Not too shabby. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite out of those two because I added both Juck and Arwen. And I think I like the Arwen way better. At least this one. Okay, so this is a pristine 10 actually. You know what? We have to keep the, the Arceus on top here. Until we get another pristine 10. Hopefully we can get at least one more. Um, I see another silver one. Um, this should presumably be the normal Arwen. Um, no, this is the Juck SAR. Okay, so I can already tell you what's wrong with this one. Um, I don't know if I can show it on camera, but maybe you can see that right there. It has print lines, and that probably means it's just a 10, hopefully at least. It is still a 10. It is still a 10, so that's very, very good. But there is the Juck SAR, so yeah, I really do prefer the, the Arwen. I mean, he's just preparing a sandwich. So this is really, really cool. And let's grab the, the normal Arwen as well. Which should be this one. Um, also, just a silver label. So let's see what we can get here. Here's the normal Arwen. And hopefully it's at least a 10. Yep, it's at least a 10. Okay, there we go. There we go. So many full art trainers. There are a lot more in here. This was like, for the most part, full art trainers. I've been collecting them and pulling them. Um, there should also be like Furry Soda Girl and Candice in here, both of which I've pulled on the channel, actually. Um, I'll be sure to put those videos, like, maybe up here, probably in the description below. Uh, so go check those out. Um, which one do we take? We'll take this one. Okay, so we have another pristine 10 here. What is it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's the Charon's Care from V-Star Universe. Okay. 
Very, very nice, pristine ten. Lovely. Probably my favorite Sharon card. There is the normal one, which is also pretty cool, but I mean, come on. This is so, so cool looking. Okay. We do have to put it below the, the Arceus, though, because the Arceus, that's my highlight. Let's go check. Let's go check the Solgaleo and Lunala GX, which should be this one. And I know this card had a defect. I just didn't know how much it would matter on the grade. So this one, I'm actually very curious to see what this got. So here we are. Um, this was in a past mail day. And I did spend, I did spend quite a lot of money on this. Um, not as much as it was at the time. I did still get a good price. The card exploded for some reason. Well, probably because it features Lily. And there was a very small defect in the corner right here. Maybe you can see that on video. Very, very minuscule. But let's see how much that, that played into the grade. 8.5. Yeah, kind of, kind of figured, kind of figured that would be harsh on the grade. Um, still, this is an amazing card. I'll probably still hold on to this. Um, it's still near mint to mint plus, so that's still fine. And, I mean, to be honest, the card is still a banger. So, I'm not too mad about that one. Right, let's pull out this one. Here's another silver label. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this is the Deoxys V-Star. The Oxus V Star. Let's see what we have here. Also a ten. I mean, I'm I'm assuming most of these are going to be tens. The the last card that will also be interesting to see will be the Charizard GX, um, the one that I also well that was also featured in a previous mail day. Um, I bought that one. That one was graded as a nine point five um, previously, but it was from a grading company that wasn't very reputable. I want to say. So we'll see. Um, let's pull out this one. I see a pristine 10 right here. So a few pristine 10s. Let's see what this one is. It's the Reggie Gigas. Okay. The Reggie Gigas V Star in a pristine 10. I would have preferred the Zora Aura in a pristine 10, to be honest, but this is still really, really cool. Any any card you get in a pristine 10 is super, super nice. Okay. Um, I should also still have the the normal Sogaleo and Lunala GX, and also, oh yeah, also, the, um, the Reshiram and Zekrom GX, the super art rare of that one as well, or the super rare. Um, we'll see where this is. First of all, oh, hang on, we have something here. This is a special, uh, wait, special art rare. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think I know what, wait, does it always say, no, it doesn't always say special art rare, right? That's so odd. Okay. Um, I did check my my submission status before the grades were added, and one card apparently had an error. I didn't even see that one submitting it. Apparently one has a a um, shifted hollow foil error. Um, this might be the Zama Zenta then. Yeah, it is. So apparently this has a shifted hollow foil. But honestly, I really can Oh yeah, I can see now. Yeah, okay, they were correct. It is a 10 error card. Look at this. Check this one out. It's a gem in 10, but it's an error. Um, misaligned texture. There we go. I didn't actually specify this as an error, funnily enough, because I didn't I didn't notice it. But yeah, whoa, okay. That's actually really cool. The funny thing is, I bought this off card market, as I do with most of my cards. And I guess the person sending this to me also didn't notice. This is actually incredibly special. This is the first error card I ever own. So this is really, really cool. Okay, we've got an error card. Very, very nice. Um, let's just do this one, because I'm pretty sure this should be the Zashian. Right, it is the Zashian. Um, this is not an error. Um, let's just see what this one is. Also a 10. Very, very nice. Lots of 10s. Lots of, lots of tents. Um, this is kind of surprising. Um, this is not a surprise as much as you think it'd be. Um, so, this is still okay, though. Um, let's pull out... Which one do we pull out? Let's try to pull out the, the, the um, Reshiram and Zekrom GX. I don't know if this is it, or if this is the Charizard. Um, it is a silver label, though. Silver label. So, let's see. Oh, no, it's this one, right? This is what I, what I um, thought. I still had these normal ones in here. 
these these normal ones. I also have the Rushiram and Zekron. Um, let's see. A10. That's a very good one. Well, at least we have the normal one in a 10. I wish I could trade the greats, you know. But at least we have this as a 10. I also see a a golden label peeking here. Now, I don't know what this one is. I don't know if this is the Rishiram and Zekrom GX or if this is the Charizard GX. Um, if it's the Charizard GX, I'd be very surprised. So, yeah, I kind of figured. Okay, um, that is kind of surprising to me because this one also has, like, print lines. I don't know if you can see that on the recording. It has, like, very, very subtle print lines. But, hey, that's a pristine 10. So, two of the, the big hitters so far are pristine 10s. Very, very nice. Okay, let's actually put that on top because that is really, really cool. That is really, really cool. Okay, let's just pull this one out. Wow, I pulled out a pristine 10. What do you know? Um, what is this one? Nice. That is a really, really cool pristine 10. Friends in Hizui. Um, I also have friends in Sinnoh in here. Um, hopefully that's a pristine 10. I can see the next one, though, before that is a silver label, so... Probably not. Um, we'll see. Maybe they maybe they mixed them up, or maybe I just didn't submit them in the right order. Um, let's just see this one. Okay, so this is a silver label. Let's just put this above. above and no, it's the Candice. Yo, okay. It is the Candice. Um, I pulled this from Paradigm and Trigger. Um, I'd actually be surprised if it was a 10, because it's slightly off-centered and it has um, print lines. So I'd be kind of surprised. Let's see. Hopefully it's a 10. It's still a 10. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Candice in a 10. Very, very nice. Very nice. There should also be Furry Soda Girl in here. Um, let's try to grab this one. Ooh, another pristine 10. Um, is this Furry Soda Girl? Or is this the Friends in Sinnoh? Let's see. No, it's Professor's Research. Yo, okay. Professor's Research in a pristine 10. Very, very nice. As I've said, um, lots of full art trainers in this one. Lots of full art trainers in this one. Um, let's just grab this right here. Also a silver label. Let's see. Ah, it's the Friends in Sinnoh. Okay, so this is not a pristine 10. Hopefully at least still a normal 10. No, a 9.5. Dang it, really? I must have missed something then. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's a 9.5. Um, I was kind of thinking we wouldn't get a 9.5. But here we are. Oh, also, this is the new 9.5, as you can see here. Um, it's a Mint Plus. Mint Plus 9.5. Usually, this would previously be their Gem Mint. Now, it's just a Mint Plus. Okay. Um, there should also be the Roxy in here somewhere. Um... The Roxy is actually kind of special, because the Roxy... Is this the Roxy? No, this is this is the Furry Soda Girl, okay. So here we have the Furry Soda Girl. Um, let's see, hopefully at least a 10? Yeah, Furry Soda Girl, let's go. Also pulled that on the channel, as I've said earlier. Very, very nice. Hey, the, the trainers we've pulled ourselves, like this one. These two, definitely. Um, both 10s, so I'm happy about that. Okay, only a handful of cards left. I'll try to pull out the Charizard next. Um, I see a pristine 10 label. Um, I don't know if this is the Charizard. Um, let's just turn it around. No, it's the normal... The normal Reshiram and Zekrom GX. Okay, that's also a pristine 10. So, I have both the N cards in, in a pristine 10 now. Um, didn't, didn't get the Lilies, though. But, you know, N is much cooler anyways, right? Right. Okay, I've forgotten. It is, this should be the Charizard then. See, I've kind of forgotten the order, but not totally. Yeah, okay. So this is off-centered. You can already tell this is off-centered. Um, honestly, I'd be happy about a 9.5. Because I have the, the Charizard V from Shiny Star V in a pristine 10. I have the Charizard V Max also from Shiny Star V in a gem mint 10. So getting this... In a, in a 9.5 would kind of complete the trifecta anyways. And also having three different grades, I don't know. Let's see. Um, of course I'm hoping for a 10, but let's see. Oh, 9.5. Okay, I, I expected that. I really, really expected that to be a 9.5. Um, that is okay, though. Um, at the same, similar with most of these cards, I picked this up right before a price spike. 
pick it up at the correct time. Okay. That is completely fine. I have... I don't know if I have... No, I didn't... I don't have every single... I think I have every single modern shiny Charizard now. Um, Japanese one, that is. No, not the English ones. But hey, here we go. Very, very nice. A handful of cards left. Um, let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. I don't know what this one is. Oh, here's the Roxy. Okay. So I alluded to this earlier. This is actually very special. Um, I bought this on, on eBay. Um, I think one and a half years ago, maybe two years now. Picked it up for like 20 or 30 euros. Really, really cheap. And it was a CGC 9. It was a CGC 9. The subgrades were all over the place. It had like 10s in, in three categories and the surface was an 8.5. And that's why it was held back from that from that 9.5. Let's see what it graded as now. Technically, it should be a 9.5, right? No, it's just a mint 9. Hang on. No, the mint 9 was previously also graded, I think. It just had the... Um, the subgrades. I think this is just the same grade then. Okay. Um, kind of disappointing, but also that is good because that means CGC is consistent at least in their grades, at least from my limited experience. We'll put that right here. That's that's okay though. Let's pull out this one and see what this is. Oh yeah, right. Here is the lens that I've also picked up really, really cheap for like 5 euros or something. Um, it graded as a 10, so there you go. Pick up the lens as a... for really cheap for 5 euros. And now we have a gem mint 10. Very nice. Okay, I think... What is this one gonna be? Oh, it's the Mew EX from, from the 25th anniversary. Yo, I was kind of hoping for this to be a pristine 10. Um, I also thought it was going to be perfect, but let's see. Hey, at least it's still a normal 10. 25th anniversary Mew EX. I have like so many versions of this card, I don't even know what to do with them. I have the, the Japanese original one um, in a first edition in my binder somewhere. I have the English variant of this card, of course. And it's just crazy overall. It is a Mew card. I should definitely have submitted more Mew cards. Here we go. So many 10s, so many cards. Okay. This is the last card in here, and it is a pristine 10. I have kind of forgotten what I missed from all of this, so let's just turn it around. Gardenia's Vigor. Sure, sure. This is also a really, really funny story how I got this card. Um, of course, once again, I bought it off of Card Market, and I actually paid for this card, I do know that still, 42 euros. And the guy I bought it from was super, super nice and everything. Sent to me very, very quickly, and now it graded as a pristine 10, so that's super amazing. Yo, that's super, super amazing. Shout out to that French guy, man. He was so, so nice about everything. Super, super cool. Okay. Okay, so here we are, all the cards that we've graded. Um, not really that many surprises. I mean, this I kind of expected because of that slight defect. Honestly, um, I'm more surprised that it still got an 8. Because I'm pretty sure if I would send this into PSA, it would be an automatic 6. So this is this is okay for me. Um, this is also, I kind of predicted this one. The only real surprise here is this one. This one is a 9. I don't know what, what's wrong with that card. Maybe there's an indentation somewhere or it's just... It must just be something I didn't see, didn't pay attention to. Um, this is not too bad. Because I will probably be giving this away for my 500 subscriber special. So... Subscribe and stay tuned if you do want the chance to win that one. And then other than that, the the Charizard I, I predicted and I kind of expected, so I'm okay with that. Um, okay, that's also kind of a disappointment, the 9.5 on the on the friends in Sinnoh. But you know, it is what it is. Um, the two highlights of this one are definitely the, the Reshiram and Zekrom GX and the Arceus in Palkia. Or the Arceus Dialga and Palkia, the ADP. This one is insane. Holy moly. I still can't believe this is a pristine 10. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, anyways. Well, but anyways, that does it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos, perhaps. Um, next week's video is going to be one more Pokemon 151 opening. And I do promise that will probably be, most likely be, the last opening of Pokemon 151. 
Um, I did pull most of the cards that I now wanted. Well, I did pull a, um, a few good cards now, so now I'm probably just going to pick up singles for the cards that I'm missing. And uh, It's going to be a cool video, though, so stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Here's the sub button. Click this one first, then click this one. Um, click any of the other videos that I have linked in the description or like in the card right here. And, well, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.